Hey, ladies and gents, and welcome back. Today we are doing another pair of Red Wing Mock Toes. Now, I know we did a video on a pair of Red Wings about two to three months ago. Uh, the video did really well and you guys seem to really like it. We usually don't like to do the same type of shoe too close together, but you know what? When a boot or a shoe comes in that is just completely wrecked and we think you guys might enjoy watching it, uh, we can't pass over on it. So this pair of Red Wing Mock Toes came in to us. And like I said, this quite possibly may be the worst Mock Toe boot that we've ever received. It has been completely obliterated. The welt and the sole are completely coming off of both boots. Uh, it has paint stains on it. The uppers have been ripped some. Um, and we're gonna to try to completely give these boots as much of a makeover as we possibly can. Now, you're not gonna make the uppers on these look completely brand new. These are obviously work boots, and the guy has used them, beat them up really badly. But we are going to try to give a makeover on these to make them look as good as we can possibly get them while staying within the budget. So we are going to try to give these as much of a makeover as we possibly can. Uh, we're not gonna to go too crazy with them, but we are gonna make them look a lot, lot better. So without further ado, let's get on it. Now, most of the ones we've ever come across, this type of boot, it's got cork in here, but these have been redone before, and so uh, that's where all this foam comes from. So here's the uh, part of the welt, and you can see this thing's got three layers of stitches on there. There's your original stitch, one, two, and then there's another one up underneath here, three. So whoever did these last, they just kept stitching right over the same welt. They never pulled out stitches or anything. And that also leads to this just crumbling. All right, so now that we've got the welt off, this is the residual thread that actually goes up underneath the rib, and we gotta pull those out. And anytime you, you have thread and, you, and you're gonna restitch, you wanna pull all the old thread out or it just clogs the same hole, and, and it's a lot harder to, uh, to get it in there, and, or you wind up punching a new hole and turning it into Swiss cheese, and you don't wanna do that on the upper. The welt can be replaced, the upper cannot. Okay, so we have the soles and the insoles off of these boots. And now we're going to try to do as much as we can to the uppers. As you can see, he's got paint on here. We're going to try to get that off. Um, some of the spots, like right here, you know, that leather's just completely cracked in half. There's no replacing that. Um, you know, he's got a big tear there. We'll try to see what we can do. Um, but we're going to strip all this down, re-dye them, try to fill in some of these spots and condition them and kind of go from there. All right, so the insoles on these were, they were in bad shape. So 
We're going to build new insoles. Now we've done insoles before where we've you know, gotten more canvas and, and wrap it around. We're actually going to do it a different way uh, and also a very traditional way to where we actually just use the leather insoles themselves and turn that into a, um, uh, a hold fast. So let's get going. So you can see where the canvas is just completely deteriorated. There's no wall for the stitches to come through. It's just, it's in bad shape. All right, so what's different about this insole versus what we normally do with the canvas is this is actually split and you can see where it's actually rolled back. So you take a piece of uh, veg tan um, leather and you just split a little bit, fold this back, and now this becomes the rib or the hold fast. And uh, a lot of times at the factories they'll have staples. I don't have staples, so I just tie these just to keep it in place. And then you just stitch through this little sliver, sliver of leather and that holds it in place. oatmeal. All right, it's day two and we had to put the cork in yesterday afternoon and this stuff has to sit for hours to kind of set up. Normally we'll do a bunch of shoes at one time, but since it was later in the, in the day, we let it sit overnight and now we're gonna continue putting on the sole. So let's go.
All right, these uh, laces are a bit dingy. Lost the little tips on them, so we're gonna replace these. Okay, ladies and gents, so that just about does it. So a big thanks to Heath for resoling this pair of Red Wing mocks. I did the last video, uh, so he did this one. And the reason we're both not up here is because we have lost one of our lav mics. And you know, you guys always say there's an echo in here, so we always try to use the lav mic. So anyways, I will wrap it up for us. As we usually do, uh, just a quick reminder, if any of you guys are interested in having boots or shoes resold, definitely check out the link potterandsons.com down below and the, also the link is in the description below. Uh, so many of you guys, we get emails after these videos by the hundreds asking, hey, can you tell me how much this will cost or this cost? And so much of that can be found on our website. So again, check out potterandsons.com for most of the prices and options and whatnot. Okay, so just to give you a quick summarization on this pair of boots. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is a pair of uh, Red Wings that was sent in to us just to have Christy soles put on. Uh, unfortunately, the gentleman also needed a welt, which he got that as well. And then once we got into the boot, as you saw in the video, it needed so much more. Uh, just a typical welt and resole on this pair of boots was not gonna suffice. As you can see, these boots were in awful, awful shape. Um, cracks all in the uppers, welt completely pulling away. Uh, definitely not your typical boot that is sent in to us. So a lot was gonna to have to be done to this pair of boots. And anytime that we get a pair of boots in that looks like this especially, uh, we figure you guys will enjoy watching us redo them. And that is why we actually kind of went above and beyond on this pair of boots and did a lot of things that uh, the, the customer didn't really ask for, but we figured, hey, let's do it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And um, you know, we took it from there. So as you can see, the uppers were in really rough shape. We actually tried to fill in as many of those cracks as possible. We then uh, re-dyed the boots because they were so bad that we had to go with a darker color just to try to hide some of those cracks. Um, also, when you go a light tan color like it originally was, it just isn't gonna work out very well. So we went a little darker. We also put on new welts, new insoles, uh, new Christy soles. We put on new leather laces. So we really gave these boots the works. Now, are the uppers gonna be perfect Absolutely not. There's absolutely nothing you can do to these uppers that's gonna make them look brand new unless you just put completely new uppers on there, in which case it'd be insanely ridiculous and you might as well just go buy a new pair of boots, which you could have done anyways for the amount of work that we did to these, but I, I hope you were entertained. But anyways, I think the boots came out looking great, a lot better than what they did before. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and took something away from it. As always, guys, again, if you're not following us on Instagram, please do that. It's Potter and Sons, and uh, we put a lot of new content on there throughout the week that I think you guys will enjoy. All right, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, y'all have a good one.